Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students how are you doing in such uh, corona pandemic period nothing remains in st stand still in any short of pandemic uh, era or pandemic period time certainly waits for none even it will wait for nobody as well like you are like me we were and whatever you are and so on what's over i am muhammad allama al said your teacher lecturer of english in dolapur college i'm going to discuss about another topic today uh, this is going to be my uh, second class with you at my very first class i already i uh, discussed about uh, uh, your question pattern uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, some topic of grammatical portion right now i'm going to discuss about a very easy and very important thing of your grammar portion which takes which carries uh, five marks question number 8 and and this very question contains uh, five marks and it uh, normally it's a discussion about some parts of verb like transitive verb intransitive verb uh, like finite verb and some other portions of in, infinite non finite verb like participle infinitive gerund and so far i can uh, recall it that a few days back i uh, gave you uh, some uh, brief description about uh, the functions of verb but today i will uh, make you learn how to identify the parts and actually very important uh, topic of the uh, verbs as well then let's uh, discuss about the verb you know verb is very important thing without which there cannot be an existence of sentence as well you know without subject there may be some existence of sentence uh, without object there may be Uh, some existence of sentence as well but without verb what can uh, happen without verb actually no sentence can be performed that's why verbs are divided into two those are finite verb finite and non finite this is very finite it's exactly verb it is without which we cannot form any sort of sentence this very finite can be divided into two those are principal verb and auxiliary verb what principal verb is principal verb is such verb without which you cannot form any sort of sentence so what is the definition of principal verb principal verb is such verb which carries its own meaning in a sentence and which no uh, doesn't support or help any other verb like uh, some auxiliary verb rather it takes help from auxiliary verbs it is called principal verb and what is auxiliary verb auxiliary verb is such verb which doesn't carry or normally doesn't have any sort of meaning in its sentence rather it helps the principal verb to express its own meaning that is principal verb's meaning this is called auxiliary verb today our topic upon which we are going to discuss this is very part of principal verb there is a transitive verb and intransitive verb transitive verb and intransitive verb and 
there is another function of uh, principal verb as well but this is not uh, our, our topic of discussion here transitive verb what is transitive verb transitive verb is such verb which uh, normally performs its own meaning having based upon some noun after it by right now we are going to discuss about going to actually give a, an example of transitive verb like we play football this very verb play this very verb play is transitive verb why it is transitive verb this play this very verb play it gives or expresses its meaning depending upon a word after it depending upon a very word noun of course it is noun football and here football undoubtedly is an object so the verb which express its meaning basing upon the object next to it the easiest way to express what transitive verb is if you ask any question this very transitive verb by what or who and if you can get a short answer then certainly that will be transitive verb like if you ask any question uh, to the word play who sorry what what or whom by asking question uh, with these two very word what or whom if you can get any sort of answer only then it can be uh, considered that this is transitive form we can get some other example like they are flying guys here are flying it's transitive verb undoubtedly it's an auxiliary verb and the next one is principal verb with this addition of auxiliary and principal it's an unit and it's an unit of transitive verb if you ask this very word are flying with the word what or whom that is what you are flying you are flying kites actually the kite is answer of this very word what only then it's transitive verb it's transitive verb it's transitive verb now let's discuss about another verb this is intransitive verb what intransitive verb the verb which doesn't need to having help of another noun or some uh, word like noun to express its own meaning like oi if you want to seek full stop uh, here then it's all right it's a complete sentence like we play if you ask any question to the word very word play like what or whom you will get no answer and that's why it's an intransitive verb and if you want to elaborate this sentence like we play well 
और पूवी पे टूगेदर देन व्हाट टॉपिक और व्हाट पार्ट और इनग्रीडियंट इनग्रीडियंट दिस वर्ड्स आर दिस आर कॉल्ड एडभर्ब और एडवर्बियल्स दिस आर नॉट ऑब्जेक्ट इन डीड बट दिस वेरी वर्ड फुटबॉल इज ऑब्जेक्ट दिस वेरी वर्ड काइट्स काइट्स इट्स ऑब्जेक्ट बट द सेम वर्ड वी प्ले वी प्ले वेल हियर प्ले इज इंट्रांसिटिव फॉर्म एंड वेल इज एडवर्ब and this is they are the uh, very brief discussion about transitive and intransitive now let's discuss about some other topic like infinitive gerund and participle because we have already uh, got some ideas about transitive and intransitive right now we are going to discuss about infinitive participle and gerund you know we uh, uh, before uh, sometime we already have discussed about uh, some distributions or divisions or classifications of verb we got here two sorts of verbs these are these are uh, transitive verb and intransitive verb right now we already have completed our discussion about transitive verb and we are going to discuss about intransitive verb non finite verb the classifications of non finite verbs are three those are infinitive participle and gerund these are also very important thing in this topic without a very clear sense of all uh the classifications of non finite verb you cannot answer well uh the question number 8 if you want to have a very good and clear concept about a uh, question number 8 certainly you have to know and you have to learn very clearly what a finite verb what non non finite verbs are and what are their classifications right now we are going to discuss about infinitive infinitive is such form of verb actually it's a uh to plus base form of verb that is v1 it acts like noun participle acts like adjective and gerund is v1 plus ing form acts like and noun then what are participle participles are also classified in three these are present participle past participle and perfect participle now we are going to discuss a uh, uh, briefly about present participle and past participle present participle uh, is also it has a very good similarity with uh, the formation of gerund like gerund present participle is also forms with v1 plus ing but it works as an adjective then what is the difference between gerund and present participle first the similarity both are v1 plus ing v1 plus ing like walking it can be used as gerund and this very word walking also can be used as an 
present part as a participle as a participle or as a present participle okay let's uh, go to use this very two topic of non finite form present participle and gerund like walking is good exercise here walking it forms uh, as a subject as a subject of a sentence you know subject always must be a noun here walking works as a noun subject subject always must be noun let's go to another topic we will certainly use the same word in our present participle like we saw him walking first here walking it is same formation like walking w a l k i n g after the very word walk i n g is added here after the very word i n g is added here but this very walking is used as an adjective so it's present participle so similarity similarities are ing normally added after the very word is called gerund and ing normally added the base form of the present uh, base form of verb is also called or may be also called adjective that is present participle but dissimilarity what is the dissimilarities are dissimilarities are gerund normally used as subject of verb object of verb object of preposition case in opposition and complement of incomplete prediction but present participle always used either after noun or before noun so these are the differences between present participle or uh, present participle and gerund now we need to have a clear sense about past participle what past participle is normally if some form like d ed t n en and so on etc etc if this short of form short uh, of uh, uh letters are added after some base form of verbs then it can be called past participle then what past participle are past participles also used as an adjective in some sentence like past participle we can certainly give an example set an example here uh like don't sit on a broken chair here broken this form comes from like break broke broken broken en is added here after the very word k break broke broken but it is used as an adjective which modifies this very word chair object chair is noun and it is an modified word adjective so 
past participle is normally used as an adjective.